friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Sanskriti here and today I will tell you an idea to make chemistry investigatory project. As you can see that the title of the investigatory project is preparation of aloe vera hand sanitizer. So we are going to prepare a hand sanitizer which is the need of the hour. So the first page of your investigatory project would contain the aim which would be this and your details. Usually the template and the format is given by the teacher but if not so you can use this format as your investigatory projects format. The second page would contain your index which would have aim, abstract, acknowledgement, certification, problem and its background, theory, materials, methodology, findings, conclusions, recommendations, benefits, appendix. So you are going to start with the abstract as to why you are going to make this hand sanitizer and what would be the use. So you would say that the main purpose of your project is to help to create a product which is cheaper and could use the same quality as the one through the use of commercial sanitizers and then you would say that it can help to people who cannot buy expensive hand sanitizers. You can also mention that the researchers can determine the similarities and differences of the two products by comparing their qualities. Also that you can say that the study is advised to use more aloe vera for the product to be more jelly. And it is easy to make since the materials used are found in stores and have the cheapest price. So these points would actually help you gain marks. Then you will provide an acknowledgement that you are going to thank your parents or your teachers and the God and whomever you want to thank for this project. And then you are going to have the certification. This is also provided by the teacher but if not you can use this as I have told that I have used the certification given by my teacher. Then I will mention the problem and its background. A little bit background mentioning is important because your investigator or the teacher who is going to take your viva or the project is going to ask you why did you make this project. So this project should have an introduction that earlier whenever the people's hand used to get dirty, people used to go in search of good soap and water. So this way you can just say a little bit about hand sanitizer background and how did it evolve and the significance of the study that first of all you will tell the people who will get benefited from it be it like the people in the squatters area the small and big houses or even that people who don't have jobs and senior citizens so you can use these factors to answer then you're gonna have to start with the theory that what you're gonna use in this project the products you are gonna use are aloe vera gel coconut oil rose water the tall and water so these are the things and you will just like mention that why are you going to use it because it's not going to harm the environment. They are cheap, they are easily available. So you will say that aloe vera gel is used in roughness and dryness of skin and it removes dark spots and increased skin glow. So these points and then for rose water you're going to mention that it's it has like an in anti-inflammatory properties that can help to reduce the redness of the irritated skin and these things and also that uh, it is a great cleanser and aids in removing oil and dirt accumulated in clogged pores and it also reduces the smell of the doll which is another ingredient in our hand sanitizer. Then we have the coconut oil. It is a natural skin moisturizer which you're gonna like mention. You already know a lot of it that it is non-greasy etc. And then you have the doll thing. So you will say that a doll cleanse and help protect against infection from minor skin cuts, scratches and sex bites and then you have a container which is a recycled bottle. So everything you are going to mention in this particular hand sanitizer project can uh, like help you to earn ma good marks and this you are going to provide with the contents picture that you are going to use this parachute oil or whichever the doll and then you have the rose water then you have the Patanjali. This one is the Patanjali aloe vera gel or you can use any so materials required you're gonna write as aloe vera gel coconut oil detol rose water water bowl spatula container then methodology that you have to make a hand sanitizer out of materials that can be found in homes and they are cheap to buy so you're gonna write this much as you have to put aloe vera gel in a bowl and mix well with spatula you have to put a cap of coconut oil and mix well then half cap of rose water to neutralize the smell of the toll. Then half cap of the toll and mix well. Now mixture 
has to be like done very nicely so you have to add a little bit of water to make its consistency perfect so you have to mix everything till it blends perfectly now after the blending the sanitizer is ready to use then you are gonna put some findings as to what you can see after making that particular hand sanitizer so these would be the features color fragments and textures so features are basically as of color and fragrance and texture of a halo like aloe vera hand sanitizer and then you have a commercial hand sanitizer so the features would be like color of aloe vera hand sanitizer would be greenish yellow the commercial one would have clear color fragrance would be aloe water here fruity and texture sticky here is smooth so you have the conclusions that the hand sanitizer was confidently a success because of the presence of the ethyl alcohol in it all that made it more disinfectant and the ingredients used to make the hand sanitizer were readily available and easily accessible in the market you're going to mention these and then recommendations for better results it is optional to put essential oil for the sake of your nose not to be irritated with the smell of the original essence and also you should put more aloe vera gel than the ethyl alcohol to make the hand sanitizer jelly so these could be the recommendations and then a benefits that benefits of waterless hand sanitizer require less time act quickly to kill microorganisms reduce bacterial counts on hands and improve condition of skin so there are a lot of benefits too and then appendix containing the bibliography that all the sites that i have used to make this particular project so i hope that you understood this particular project it's very very easy to make and once you have done with it you're going to show the results as well and these are the things which you're going to show and mention in the project wish you all the best and if you have any doubt you can always contact me on instagram which is basically sans_karma i will provide my instagram id in my description box so you can check there out as well thank you so much